Hey and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is my review for Harley Quinn, a very problematic Valentine's Day special that is a mouthful. And on IMDb, it's saying it's 26 minutes long. That is incorrect. We have a nice hefty 45 minutes, so it's a pretty cool lengthy episode special. Will you enjoy it? If you haven't seen the series, can you jump in? And if you have, will it be as good as the series? Let's talk about it. Harley and Ivy are celebrating their first Valentine's Day together. Also follows the rest of the ragtag crew and how they spend the gushiest, mushiest and most romantic day of the year. I wasn't sure what to expect as a special because we have a chronological story of a major arc from them getting together and then all the adventures that ensue from there. And I have reviews on my channel, you can check that out. But if you're coming to this, you may be wanting to give it a go. You haven't really gotten into the Harley Quinn animated series yet but you thought you know what is special I could maybe give that a go do I need to know anything yeah there's a bunch of stuff that's happened before but also you can just watch it because you know the characters from the DC world Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are in this relationship and Harley Quinn wants to make Valentine's Day the best Valentine's Day ever not just a good or a great but the best for poison ivy and this is what she sets out to do problem is poison ivy wants to have a mellow chill at home watch some netflix on tv or rather more accurately watch some hbo max uh, a series or live action whatever it is they they're binging at the moment and then you know go have some cuddle time afterwards that's what she wants to do but there's compromise in relationships and that's what they're working hard on it in this episode and so she goes okay Let's go out. And obviously Harley Quinn has other ideas of what the evening should be. The chaos ensues and what we end up getting to a point where my brain goes, are they actually going to do a Legend of the Overfiend type of special? They don't quite go that way, but what happens from where we start out is mental in the best way possible, in the most Harley Quinn way possible. I had a lot of fun with this. There's a segment in this broken up throughout the episode where you see our characters being interviewed, basically telling the story about how they fell in love. And it breaks up the story, you know, going back to the main story of Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, their adventure on their Valentine's Day date evening thing. And then we get those interviews of what all the other characters, how are other characters that you've seen in the show from the DC world, what they're up to. The voice work in this, obviously we have our two main actors back, voice actors back voicing Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn, but we still have amazing veterans as well, like Adam Judic. There's a number, you just go and check on IMDb, the voice cast for this show is incredible also the special animation is the same as you'd expect it to be it's good when the action meets and then they they take away some frames when they just stand standing around and you just have to have the mouse movements that's the same with anime as well they pull the budget into the kind of the the big action set pieces which is very sexualized in this one <laughs> which made me crack up it's a lot of fun i wasn't laughing out loud i was smirking there was a couple of moments where i laughed or gasped uh, it's just enjoyable and it is fairly romantic if you take it with a pinch of uh, Harley Quinn rather than a pinch of salt, a pinch of Harley Quinn. So as a special, it's something that I would watch again on Valentine's Day with my partner. If you're into the superhero genre and Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, if you're into all of that, you're gonna love this. If this is your first foray into the Harley Quinn, I think you're gonna kind of be bombarded into this world and going, what it is I'm watching? And you'll go, no, I don't like this. Or you'll be like, yeah, this is brilliant. I think it's definitely going to be split down the middle as to whether you love or hate this. As a helping into the Harley Quinn, it doesn't further the plot or arcs or anything that they've been going through, but it is a, a solidifying of their relationship and a, a nice to see what the characters are doing on Valentine's Day. My favorite storyline, however, in the Harley Quinn Poison Ivy uh, special is not them. But what Bane goes through, I think it's hilarious, quite funny. Also, Clayface has quite a bit of an, a nice story storyline in this. A lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts and feelings down below, what you're expecting from this. As a special, I rate this a solid four Nicolas Cage's out of five. <laughs> and you got one. Congratulations. Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.